Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to stray a little bit from the usual single sideband and AM topics that I talk about and talk about uh, one of the FM related topics on the ICOM IC7300. When uh, you are using FM, as you are probably aware, uh, you have the capability to use uh, CT CSS tones uh, for uh, controlled access to repeaters, for uh, controlled squelch on your receiver. And uh, most radios these days have a uh, tone squelch scan, and uh, the ICOM IC7300 is no exception. So, let me go ahead, and uh, I, what I have done is I have connected my communication service monitor to my ICOM IC7300, and I have it set up to uh, generate a 1 kilohertz tone on uh, 52.525. So I'll go ahead and uh, put my service monitor into generate. And I'm currently generating the one kilohertz tone. So what I'll do is I'll add in a uh, 100 hertz uh, CTCSS tone. So as you can tell, that audio sounds a little bit different now. So now that that's all set up, then uh, what I will do is go to function, and then I will hold down tone until it brings up this menu, and. Uh, Reading on repeater tone is fine. We'll go ahead and press the T scan. And as you can see, it has found that we are on a 100 hertz tone. Now, if I was to change that tone to, uh, let's say, 88.5, when it comes back around, it should stop on 88.5. And indeed, it has. So, uh, that's a quick way to... Um, to use the tone scan function to figure out the uh, input tone to a repeater. Let me go ahead and disengage my generator and exit that menu. Uh, so what you would do uh, in application for this is you would listen to the input frequency of a repeater. Uh, if you can hear uh, the person who is transmitting that is trying to reach into that repeater, uh, then you can decode their tone. Uh, if that's not possible, uh, a lot of times repeaters will also encode the tone on their output that they are expecting on their input. That way you can set your uh, tone squelch on your radio, and your radio will not receive unless it receives that tone. Uh, other than that, if, um, if that doesn't allow you to figure out the input tone, then you can either try it through uh, basically brute force by trying every tone until you get in, uh, you could try the common tones first, uh, or you could see if there's published information on uh, what tone is, needs to be used for that repeater or simplex conversation. <clears throat> it is possible to have a simplex conversation between two stations uh, with tone uh, and tone squelch uh, so that uh, you don't have to listen to other uh, stations on frequency if there happens to be uh, some propagation that comes in. Although do you, need, you do need to be aware if uh, other people are on the same frequency that you are, uh, just so that you can avoid interference. So that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, put them down below. I hope that you found this video informative, and I also hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching!